Alright, what's up you guys? Welcome to another stock video. So this one is a bit of an awkward video because <laughs> I made a stupid, stupid mistake when I was reinstalling this game over to my C drive because I wanted a better loading screen performance because this game has slow fucking loading screens. So I was playing the game originally on D drive because of more storage obviously. So I swapped it over to C drive. I was like, whatever. And then I forgot to like save my save file. So I deleted the whole game, <laughs> and I lost my save file because I'm retarded like that. So, this is a new character. Uh, I mostly half and half cheated this character because I didn't want to spend 27 hours of my fucking life re-getting back what I did in my YouTube playthrough. That's not gonna happen, dude. That that's a waste of my time. And also, another another update's coming out for the game, which is gonna change how the game works apparently, which. I'm kind of iffy about it. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm a fan of it. Apparently Grok is taking out the crafting uh, requirements for upgrading your weapons and gear. That's a bit fucking awkward in my opinion. <laughs> they have a reason to be in the game. Why would you take him out? That just doesn't under, that, the, the concept of that doesn't make any sense. How can you upgrade gear without an upgrade kit? It just, it literally makes sense. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the new update that's coming. Anyways. To the character. I already had this gun in my playthrough. I had the helmet, and I had the the tier two like second night vision in my playthrough. Now the chest piece. <laughs> if some of you have never seen this chest piece, I've actually had this chest piece once, legitly, but it wasn't a gamma. It was in uh, the modded version of uh, Stalker Anomaly, which is a really good game, by the way. This, to find this legitly, which I did not, by the way, uh, I, like I said, I cheated these stuff in, except, yeah. Like, all of this I cheated in because I already had some of these, but I figured I'm gonna throw in a good chess piece just because I didn't want to bother with a lot of the campaign shit. I just wanted to get through the game as fast as possible to get caught back up to where I was, and the chess piece is extremely good in stats, as you can see. 27 ballista, like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, and the pistol I didn't ever have, the shotgun I never had, because it was a different shotgun. I think I had this backpack, I thought I was working on getting it. I had the parts to make it, I was just too lazy to make it. So yeah, I just spawned all this stuff in. But from here on out, what I find, I'm going to equip and I'm going to replace these two items. Just to make it more legit. <clears throat> also, everything you see in the backpack I've earned legitly, including these. Uh, the only thing in my bag that I have not earned legitly in this playthrough is the ammo this ammo in particular and all of these mags I bought all these but everything else I've earned legitly all of my shit my storage back in my other base I earned legitly besides uh, this ammo and the ammo po the ammo pen of this ammo because I technically had that in my other playthrough um, but yeah the money uh, I didn't cheat the money I just upped the money amount that you get for uh, quest rewards. So it's it's all in the game. You can do that yourself. I upped it to three, <laughs> which is actually a lot. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean by that, by the way. So gameplay, I keep this at one, just like so I sell stuff. Money reward, I usually keep this at 1.5, 1.7, maybe two. For YouTube purposes, I would say two. Maybe two and a half, but I put it at three just so I can make some bank money. And I'm talking like, you kill, you you do an assassination mission in this game, a contract killing mission. That's like twenty one grand. It's like, oh, it's so, it's so good of money, so good. <laughs> like you'd be rich in like a few seconds, dude. Uh, the loot chance and money loot factor. I always put these at five just so I get a little bit extra money when looting dead bodies, because they only give you like maybe fifty bucks, twenty bucks at a time. And this kind of bumps it up to like up to 500 if you're really lucky. So, good stuff. Also, gameplay difficulty, bullet power. This uh, this thing is really starting to piss me off in this game because it's default at 1.2, I think, 1.3, and it does fuck all. Like, you could take a 45 pistol and shoot a guy in the head that has a bandana and he won't even die. How the hell is that realistic? Like, this is a game, okay? I don't care if it's realistic or not, but if you shoot someone in the head with a 45 pistol, 
<laughs> they should fucking die. And even with uh, the bullet factor being three, they're still bullet sponges. And I also increased their uh, hip fire, or recoil actually, and their hip fire, or something. What is this one? Yeah, recoil, and I think this is, uh, yeah, that's accurate. Because they're hackers in this game, they can shoot you from like 10 miles away. So I upped these a little bit. So far it's been working. So far it has been working. I still get shot, but not as often, or at least as accurately, I should say. Uh, for the quests, I've pretty much been doing a lot of quests. I've already got to Swamp, did that quest. I've already gotten a couple stashes. I've already been down here to Agriprom. I've already been to Yantar. I already got the, uh, I already got the, uh, thingy. The brain psi helmet. And I've already done all the campaign missions, almost up until where I was on my YouTube video. I've done the, uh, Agriprob Sewer mission. I've done the Swamp mission. Because the Swamp mission, Sewer mission. And then, right now, I'm in Army Warehouse. Where the fuck are we at? I'm in Army Warehouse. To do the defend against, uh... The Monolith. The Call of the North. Where you defend against the Monolith when they ambush you. And then after that, I gotta go back down here, which is where I was on my YouTube video. I gotta go do... Well, actually, I've already done this on my YouTube video, never mind. It's the the Miracle Machine, I gotta do this. So once I do those two, I'll be caught back up to my YouTube series, which will be Radar. Because I was working my way of going to Radar, but I was trying to get more money and more ammo. So, we're almost caught back up to where we were. And, uh... I've done all this in probably like three hours because, you know, I didn't want to cheat everything. <laughs> but I did cheat a lot of the stuff and so I could just get through the game fast stuff. And, uh, yeah. This is where we are. So, uh, oh yeah, the, the UI. The guy who made this UI mod, he has, uh, he's updated it. <laughs> So, because when I was reinstalling it to make sure it was installed and had all the stuff I liked, you know, and stuff, uh, I changed this back to, like, default. Also, if you notice, the backpack's got little squares in it now, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure if I like it, but it's a cool a cool concept. Because that wasn't in the, uh, the UI mod before. Also, you could see the inventory, the characters stuff all the UI is different the little dots have always been in the game the percentage has been in the game uh, there's a weird bug with the percentage mod this mod is uh, installed but doesn't work for some reason so you have to like reinstall it to make it work I don't know why it's bugged but it doesn't work by default so if you're installing the game because of an update this mod is not going to work. Like, all of these, uh... I don't even have anything in here. But yeah, all of these percentage mods that show the percentage of stuff and all of this, it won't work. You have to reinstall that mod to make it work. So I think it's bugged. Anyways, the text is bigger than normal. Maybe it's not. I don't know, because there's like a text here and a text there. But the UI mod has a nice quality of life feature. Two of them, actually. It's got a crafting symbol, which tells you what repair kit the gun requires. So it's blue. The pistol requires a blue repair kit. So it's blue, blue repair kit. Assault rifle requires red. What is red? The red assault rifle repair kit. So it tells you exactly what it requires to repair your gear. And then for the gear, well, for the weapons, for the gear, it shows you it's medium armor, and it shows you my faction, which is so cool. I like the I like the new uh, the new UI stuff. I like what the guy did with this mod. It's really cool because now if you put on a different piece of armor, it'll show a little bandit patch or something. <laughs> like it's super cool. But uh, so far, this is where I'm at in the game. So, 
I just figured out that you guys know what's going on and why I haven't uploaded videos for this game. I'm just gonna get the shit done and then uh, hopefully here soon there'll be another video where I uh, head to radar. <laughs> but so far it's been a uh, it's been boring. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the the next video. Hopefully I have some different stuff because I do want to drop these two and try to get another one, but I haven't found a shotgun yet. And uh, if it, if not, whatever. I'll keep this stuff because I'll probably do another playthrough anyways when the new update comes out because stupid shit's coming out and I'm not a fan of it. So it is what it is.